Now that the budget schedules for 2024 are passed and published, we begin to see the details of some of the largest projects coming out in the news. The largest project that Iraq is undertaking is the new oil pipeline. You can read of the $4.9 billion dollar pipeline under the title of Iraq is preparing to establish a project that will change the oil map. Will it affect energy producers? But just let me add that this article's news is so amazing for many reasons. Let me address these reasons today and how it will impact the timing of the RV we are all looking for. Then, let me say that when this article came out in the same news period another article popped out about details of a memorandum of understanding signed with the American company Honeywell to develop seven more refineries in Iraq, and while it indicated the Prime Minister's directive to prepare a study to establish a pipeline network adjacent to the development road, it revealed projects that will enter service soon related to raising refining capacity. So, knowing all this what oil, do you think they will be refining with all this new refining capability? Of cure, it is so obvious. It will be the oil pouring from the pipelines already in Iraq as they can then divert the new oil from the new oil pipelines to be constructed for exporting. Folks, they just told us they will be expanding their oil capacity that may very well exceed even the Saudis. Iraq will also be selling these refined oil products to the rest of the Middle East and probably Europe and the US. How much more revenue will Iraq generate before they finally give us the new rate? I can also add to this list the Dr. Shabibi plan to get to the reinstatement. Remember that the RV we are looking for is only a byproduct of the reforms needed as stated in the white paper. To get to the reinstatement and back to Forex, they must first reform these three sectors, banking, insurance, and stock-slash-securities markets. There is no laundry list of items. It is simply a matter of regaining their sovereignty and getting to a position that the CBI has already determined to where they can then execute the project to delete the zeros, and we know the rest of the story once they do this. We will not be able to exchange until the OFAC sanctions are lifted on the US banks for the Iraqi dinar. Yes, like you, I can see that it should already be done, but that is my thinking, not the CBI's. Yes, there is a plan in place, and there is nothing we can do but relax, sit back, and watch the show. Remember, we were told to look for the beginning of the educational program for the project to delete the zero sometime in the month of June, if nothing changed. So, I want to see if we are still on track since it is June 18th already. I would not hold your breath and wait for January 2025, since all the signs are pointing now to much, much sooner than later. I almost forgot to mention the icing on the cake for today's news. It's about the huge ATM installation and testing going on in Iraq. Why is this so important? We were told by the CBI not too long ago the significance of that the ATM's role will play in the project to delete the zeros. Folks, it's all interconnected. Once to get everyone, or near everyone, on the electronic banking, their paychecks will go to direct deposit. You probably have your paycheck electronically deposited too from your employer.